So it is Luxury Fred, and we're here at the uh, Cannes Film Festival. Thought I'd uh, do a little video as I open. Not really a goodie bag, but it's uh, the bag you get when you register for the festival. And uh, has all kinds of stuff inside. Let's see what's in there. Uh, that's my ticket for a screening that I put in there. And let's see what's in here. So again, lots of stuff to carry around. Let's see, uh, this is the pocket guide to the March to Film. That's the uh, business part of the film festival. This is uh, different companies that are set up uh, inside the convention area that are selling and buying movies. So it might be a distributor from Turkey. Uh, and they buy movies that they then screen in Turkey or buy movies that are shown on TV and things like that. Also, companies that want you to film in their country are represented here, things like that, uh, and other things having to do with the movie business. Uh, this is a World Film Market Trends. Uh, top admissions, top markets by feature film production, things like that. Again, just information for uh, people that are in the film business which is what the Cannes Film Festival really is, is in addition to celebrating movies, it is a business, uh, the business of motion pictures, uh, making them, selling them, and distributing them. So we have a producer's guide. Uh, this is the other side of the festival, which is the people that are producing content from different parts of the world. Uh, the funds book, one of the big things is funding, of course, uh, so there's all kinds of people here that are dealing in film financing and things like that. Uh, this is a film highlights of French films. Just happens to be a list of the French films that are highlighted there. Oh, 100 years of Turkish cinema. So this is some kind of sponsored promotion or something like that. And uh, we have... Interesting, a guide to filming in Turkey, and then uh, a book, 11 and 1 films from Turkey. Oh, cool. And what it is, is uh, it's DVDs with different movies, Turkish films. So that's kind of interesting. Especially interesting because I flew Turkish Airlines uh, to the film festival, and I spent uh, a day in Istanbul and a night there and I'll be spending another day and night on my way back. So that's very interesting. And cool to have, actually have something to watch from this. A uh, booklet on French films and co-productions at the 67 Cannes Film Festival. A sketchbook from Air France, one of the sponsors. Uh, so this is the stuff that you actually need or can use so this is a guide to all the screenings. Uh, there's about uh, 22 different theaters, uh, from real big ones to real small ones. And they show movies all day long during the 11 days of the festival. And there are different kinds of movies here. Uh, movies in competition are kind of the big films that are actually competing for the prizes. Uh, these are special screenings of different things. and you know, cartoon stuff, and there's a seminar with Sophia Loren. In a certain regard is uh, kind of classic movies and uh, special things that are featured. Cannes Classics uh, is classic films, uh, different things from the different years in the past. Uh, I'm not a huge film buff, so people who are huge film buffs would probably know a lot of these. And then this is the short film corner uh, where they have short films. So again, this is a screening guide. Um, this is a different theater, and then Cinema de la Plage is, they have a big screen on the beach, and de la Plage means on the beach, and they have screenings on the beach. And then, again, different groups. This is kind of the critics' corner or something like that. Uh, different groupings or associations. Festival handbook which is just kind of a basic guide to where you got to go and where things are and the rules and maps and things like that. Something from Dolby, which is, the, uh, again, one of the partners 
in the movie, in the festival, uh, Dubai film market. So one of the things that's very well represented at the Cannes Film Festival is other film festivals. Um, so you'll see booths and things like that from other festivals around the world that want people to attend or submit their films, things like that. And then here it is, this is the official program for the festival, uh, which includes some detailed information on the movies that are actually in competition and the other kind of major releases that you see on TV and things like that, like uh, the Princess Grace movie with Nicole Kidman and uh, some of the other high profile ones. Also includes uh, bios and information on the members of the jury who uh, judge the films and award the prizes and uh, just a list of all of the different screenings. Uh, as I mentioned, there's a tribute to Sophie Loren so there's a bunch of screenings of different Sophie Loren movies and then there's even a master class that you can attend with Sophie Loren. Uh, this looks good, part of the Cannes Classics. Uh, Sergio Leone and uh, Clint Eastwood, uh, Fistful of Dollars. So it looks like there's some screenings of that, which actually I will note and want to see. Uh, Paris, Texas, it's the 30th anniversary of uh, Wim Wenders' film, Paris, Texas. So they're having a special screening of that. Um, again, just all kinds of interesting screenings and movies from around the world and really is an incredible, there I am, really is an incredible thing. Uh, and I'm fortunate to have the opportunity to go and I've been here a couple times and I just love uh, every aspect of it. So again, there we have a look inside the official bag from the Cannes Film Festival.